Yeah. Oh, good morning. Hopefully we'll get a few people joining us on this beautiful day. Just there's nothing better than an English autumn when it's like this. It's just, um, it's beautiful. There's Hamish just down there on a, on a trainer. Berry behind the gate watching intently. And up here we've got some, some of the babies waiting for their, um, for their turn. All right, we've got a few jumped on. Oh, so by the way uh, young Nathaniel was whinnying, you might guess that uh, uh, he's a cult. Um, so Jace, do you wanna tell us about Nathaniel? Yeah, he's been with us for starting and we're getting to a pretty good place with him. He hopefully will go home soon. So fingers crossed he behaves today. He's a little bit culty, but he's, He's a pretty nice chap. Um, how English do I sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the old man will be rolling over. Um, yeah, no, he, uh, yeah, he's really good. And I just thought, well, today we'll just have a look and see how, he, how he's going. Um, he's a bit wobbly. He's got this big long neck and his frame is not filled out yet. But because he's got this big long neck, he's quite um, flexible, shall we say. He's a bit rubbery in the neck and that's what... I don't worry about it too much. I just want to, you know, when he starts to travel forward a little bit more and I stay focused on where I'm going, it'll all start to come into line. I've also got a few little trot poles over there. Because he's going to be maturing, I think he's going, he's just going to be hacked and, and uh, done that sort of stuff. Just low key work for the winter. Um, doing, doing a little bit of pole work and stuff is good to have on your young horses. So. I just want to get him so he knows what that's about. So if Ben, who's going to be riding him, wants to do that and wants to strengthen him a little bit using some pole work, he can. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to run through a, a pattern with a bit of walk, trot and canter. It'll be a dressage pattern, but it might be made up a little bit as I go along. If I get a bit lost. And all I'm looking for is a bit of, for him just to flow along. He'll be a bit wobbly in places, but that's fine. Oh. Um, my arm's aching. You probably don't can't realise this, but um, Nathaniel here, Jason's legs are really long, but he's uh, he's quite a tall horse. Um, yeah, he's he's a colt. I've got his breeding down here, so I'll um, I'll let you know that in a second. Um, so Nathaniel actually has come. Um, He's done two blocks of training. So he came at the beginning of the year and did, um, I don't know, three or four weeks um, because the stud that was sort of housing him was just like, you know, he's just getting a little bit culty. He's getting a little bit um, like as if he needs to crack on. So he came then and now he's, um, yeah, he's back um, just to finish finish off he's been with us a couple of weeks um Jason absolutely he really really likes him actually um you know he's a he's a quality horse he's a beautiful mover um he's owned by a really good client of ours and um is going to be ridden by um Ben Franklin who is just fab he sends us lots of horses lots of his client horses so thank you Ben <laughs> okay so he's just literally only just got on him so he's just giving him a little warm-up and it's hard when we're doing this live streaming because I can't zoom in and out <laughs> so so I'm standing in the middle of his little made-up dressage arena so I'll probably get just run over instead And Jason said, although um, he can be a little bit um, looking at what's going on around him, um, he's actually very rideable. You know, he's always been good, um, good to ride. He's never done anything silly. Do you know what? I feel like being a pony club instructor and saying, put your heels down. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> 
In fact, actually, I think this might be the first time Nathaniel's um, been in a dressage saddle. Is that right, Jace? You've just switched the saddles over today. So sometimes when, um, when horses get a different saddle on, they can, um, they can find that quite um, disconcerting. It just can feel different. And that's why when, um, when saddle fitters come, sometimes the horses don't actually behave brilliantly because there's all the, the swapping of saddles and they keep feeling different. And for a young horse, that can be really quite a big deal. So um, this chap is destined for the dressage arena, but you'll notice that Jason's not putting him in an outline particularly or anything like that. He doesn't worry if the head comes up or goes too low. He's just, ooh, he's just looking for a nice rhythm with him, responsive to the aids and sort of going forwards. That's what he's looking for. So Nathaniel's only three. Um, so he's going to go home, do three or four weeks of being hacked and then turned away to mature again. So, um, you know, we're not putting him under any great strain physically and things. And with these, oop, <laughs> with colts especially, if they, um, you know, they can get really big and strong and if um, and if you wait to start them when they're like that and they sort of know their strength you know you can really get into um, difficulties with them so we do get quite a few horses that come from the continent that have been started on the continent and sort of bought through auctions and sales and they'll have been really um, you know, produced to sell, um, but they might not have sort of ever gone out of an arena before and things like that. So that's not how we, how well, Jason starts them. Um, Nathaniel's just been out hacking, been around the farm and actually done very little of this kind of work um, in the arena because, you know, we, we hand over for the, to, to, the, to the posh riders for that bit. Um, so Ben will, um, you know, further his training in a, in a year or so's time and, um, yeah, how's he going? Well, we wobbled him around there, he was good. <laughs> he's, he's all I can ask for, he's, like I say, he's rideable, but, you know, for those of you wondering, oh, he's not in an outline and all that sort of thing, I mean, you, you could bring him to an outline, but because he's sort of made to do it, but for me, the... The sort of priorities of training at this point would be forward, direction, then collection. And at the moment, he's still a little bit wobbly. I need a little bit more shoulder control, which I've got a few more days. We're going to look at some reverse, some reverse arcs. So just picking up an outside flexion a little bit more so I can control the shoulders a little bit better. And off the back of that, I might start to look at a little bit more sort of an outline or collecting a bit of energy but forward direction and collection that's that's what I'm looking at cool. and when he's good enough at the other two I'll get to the pretty stuff <laughs> you have to put your joddies on though Jace for that <laughs> what's wrong with the old jeans <laughs> um so I think he's going to do a little bit of pole work now and just really straightforward stuff just trot poles and um and I, I have actually got his passport here. So whilst I'm trying to film at the same time as reading his um, breeding, because I know people are always interested. Gosh, it's so, um, so bright today. Now, if you can see this, it's so bright. It looks, um,
Yes, so he's by um, he's by Vivaldi, I think, who is by Crack Sea out of a jazz mare. By Vivaldi and out of a mare by Trelava Decanter, who's by DiMaggio. Yeah, so so nice nice breeding in in there if you're into your bloodlines and things. And you can imagine once that frame has sort of grown into his long legs, he's going to be a seriously impressive horse. And um, you know he just floats around. And Jason's just always really really enjoyed riding him. He just says he's. He's a very, very comfortable horse to ride. Smooth as silk. And for those of you who are just joining and might not have heard his sort of backstory, um, he's still in entire, so I think they'll probably keep him entire um, for a little bit longer to see how he, how he develops. He's only three at the moment. So he was in earlier in the year for four weeks, then went back to, actually back to um, Tomlinson Equine where our stallion has actually been standing this year. So he was turned out for the summer to mature further and he'll go back to Ben Franklin's and be sort of hacked out for three or four weeks or so and then they'll probably just turn him away again for winter. And then when he comes back next next spring, he'll be yeah, maturing and ready to go. Lovely. Perfect. He looks so nice to ride. I wish I had him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, he's, he's going to be a lovely horse. So I look forward to seeing how this guy uh, matures and, and uh, see how his career goes. But he's a, he's a lovely chap. Cool. There, I said it again. Chap. <laughs> Lots of chaps. Um, so if any of you are interested in psychology... Um, I put a post on our Facebook page and Instagram yesterday saying that um, Charlie Unwin, who is amazing, he's an amazing performance psychologist and him and Jason are doing, <laughs> um, and uh, him and Jason are doing demos towards the end of October and November. But if you've got a question about um, how... I don't know how to keep calm and relaxed or how to get over nerves or how to get over certain fears of things um, when you're dealing with your horse please pop your question for Charlie um, in the comments below that post so if you go to our Facebook post you can jump on there um, we'll be choosing a couple of questions and he'll we'll video him answering those questions for you um, so it's a really good opportunity to get some um, some feedback about how to train your mind to be um, yeah to be nice and calm and focused and decisive and all those good things that we want our brains to be when we're uh, with our horses, which mine is definitely not. Jason's is. <laughs> yeah, I get, I think I get I get a bit of the fear thing going on. Um, yeah, just finishing, just watching Jason here. He's just, uh, gates are a massive part of um, his training with young horses. So just then when he shut the gate, Nathaniel was quite keen to get moving off. So he's just bringing him back to stand at the gate before taking him off for a little hack around the farm. And this is what the young horses should be doing most of. Chilling out in the sunshine enjoying life as a ridden horse. Righto guys, we'll, uh, we'll see you next Tuesday. Who knows what horse Jason will be on next Tuesday, but um, yeah, it'll always be something a little bit interesting. All right guys, have a great day. Hope it's as nice where you are. See you later, bye.